Howdy y'all, welcome to Nancy Drew Blackmore Manor with Anthony this time. The Curse of Blackmore Manor. Okay, the Curse of Blackmore Manor, okay. Yeah, if you saw the opening at the beginning, instead of just starting on the menu, you'll have seen, you'll have seen the game title, but oh well, we're just looking at books. I'm sure you can add it in post. There's no reason to. Fair enough. Anyway, uh... This is, this is gonna work just like all the other two Nancy Drew games I've got on my channel. We're gonna start with a new game, and he's gonna help us. Welcome to my Last latest time I case, played it, so the Curse of I Blackmore Manor. He's doing all the work. To start, choose Junior or Senior Detective. If you're new to adventure games or need some help, choose Gameplay Overview. Now, uh, you, do for, you do remember that we played two other ones, and you're thinking of uh, Shadow, of the, Shadow of the Water's Edge. Um, I'm yeah. Thinking, I, I actually played with the previous game, which was White Wolf. I know, and you died so many times. I know, so let's go with yeah. Junior Detective. Yeah, because I was going to say, if you're playing on Senior Mode, you're on your own. Yeah, blood. that's not happening. Dear, Dear Ned, greetings from jolly old England. Although right now I'm not so sure about the jolly part. That's because I'm on my way to Blackmoor Manor where the daughter of one of our neighbors is living. The daughter, whose name is Linda, recently married Hugh Pendleton, a British diplomat. Hugh travels a lot, so the only people at the manor with Linda are Hugh's aunt, Mrs. Drake, and Hugh's 12-year-old daughter, Jane. The thing is, ever since Linda moved into the manor, her health has gone downhill. She's practically bedridden, and no one seems to know why. Her mother is convinced something is terribly wrong and wants me to find out what. So here I am, about to be dropped off at a huge centuries-old mansion in the middle of a dark, foggy moor. <laughs> I can't tell whether the butterflies in my stomach are because I'm excited or just a tad creeped out. Talk to you soon. I hope. Nancy. Night, Mish. Good luck. <laughs> wow, this moves along so quickly when you have to wait for the disc to spin. I know, right? <laughs> That's what I love about having steam. It's Nothing. nice, but if steam goes down, you lose all those games. So. Yeah. Nancy. Who's there? Hello? The dire! There's something out there! Where, child? Over there! I mean, something was out there. Uh, come in! I'm Mrs. Drake. I take it you and Nancy Drew? Yes, and I really did see something, Mrs. Drake. I heard something, too. People are always seeing and hearing things on the moor at night, especially you Americans. Why don't you just go on up to your room? It's the one with the moon on the door. I'd like to see Linda, if I could. I'm afraid Linda is, uh, not quite ready to meet with you just now. But please, come see me after you've unpacked. I'll be in the conservatory. All right, thank you. Doing what? Talking to plants or something? Probably. Yeah. Is it just me, or does she? Is she kind of like uh, Professor McGonagall? It's just you. Okay. Uh, we got a phone message. I thought. Okay. This is 2005. You gotta actually press the buttons. You can't use the screen. Well, now you can use the screen. Hardy, congratulations. Hi, bye from Bess and George. No email service abroad. Okay. It's just an excuse to not have to program in a way to make emails. Yeah. So let's see. let's look around. We got uh, this. Oh, hello, Cassiopeia, Gemini, Corvus, and Hercules. Probably needs to memorize all of this. I don't remember. It's Link's been so long since I've actually had to play this game and try and figure stuff out on my own. Okay.
Is there anything else we can look at there? Nothing we can do with that, apparently. I like to open and close suitcases every once in a while. It's how I get my daily exercise. Probably. Makes about as much sense. Ludisin Gaudio Luni Non Sunt. Wish I knew what that meant. Oh, hi, a puzzle box. And yep, this is the reason you wanted to pay attention to that big Hoozy Watson over there. So, uh. Um, you, you don't have to drag. Are you gonna help me or not? I'm not gonna help you! Well, what are you here for then? I'm the co commentator. You do realize you help me with every Nancy Drew game ever we've done, right? Yes, but this is Blackmore Manor, one of the scariest, hardest games in the series. You're on your own. Since flipping when? Since, like, I decided just now. I will tell you, you don't have to deal with this right now. It's for later. Okay. I mean, you could do it now, but I don't know why you would. I don't Actually, know what I'm doing, dude! <laughs> I'm not an expert on these games like you are. This is why I asked for your help! <laughs> There you go, you stopped it. Oh, Ethel, do I have to learn this? Yes, I'm afraid you do. If I do, well, I just, ask, can okay. we play a game? Yes, but only in French. Oh. I'm afraid we're busy. Okay. Oh, forget it. Stay in Italy as long as you want, then. Some kind of husband you're proving to be. It's not all in my head. Man, you're having trouble Don't moving bother. the mouse, I see. I'm having trouble get the, getting the thing to light up. What thing? I don't know. Where the arrow appears. Oh. It's not that hard to give pretty generous there. hot boxes. Ow. Pokey thing on the floor. You want to take that planet? No, you can't take that planet. It's just there to pretend to be an ice cream cone, even though it's just a trophy of a planet in it. <laughs> Who the heck? This is a game, isn't it? It's just a game. Does it matter to the storyline at all? It does, but not now. Which is good, because I have no desire to play that right now. So, where the heck am I supposed to go? Solve the mystery, man. It's... Beginning of the game is always orienting yourself with the place. Oh, it's just a parrot. Scared ya! <laughs> Polly want a cracker? Polly want a cracker? You don't need to read it, she's gonna say it, exactly what's written. Okay, I get the point. Lulu. Lulu, 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 Lulu. Do you by any chance know Latin? Well, you can learn what the thing said now. I'll take that as a yes. Would you mind translating something for me? Fire away. I quinoctium vernum. You only the get one, so pick. Day of okay, the year you already clicked. Stadium, the summer solstice. The shortest day is bruma. The winter solstice. Equinoctium vernum is a spring equinox. Equinoctium autumnalis is a fall equinox. Day equals night. Lulu's always right. Rawr! Bye, bird. <laughs> Alright, it went insane. No, I'm yeah, kidding. Yeah, it kind of did. <laughs> I need the key. I can't hear the dialogue, so I'm going to have to remember what all all the characters sound like and say. And well, it's she, easy she, when it's Lulu. It's easy when it's Lulu. Yeah, she kind of cackled. They're going to say, go away. You can go there. Eh, you missed it. Eh, whatever. This is our room again. You can go back inside and go to bed if you want. 
Okay, would you please, for the love of God, explain this game to me? Alrighty. You're in a scary manner. I'm here to see Linda. Because she's not feeling well. We gotta know why. Okay, I'm gonna explain what the heck I'm supposed to do like we did on the other two games! I see... I see Ra and Anubis there. I wonder what they have to do with it. I think I lost Anthony. Now I'm here. Okay, well, it just suddenly went weird. Anyway, would you please? It sounds weird when you you get really loud. Okay, would you? If please... anyone gets really loud, it's gonna cut off. I'm asking you sincerely. Will you help me like you did in the other games? No. Then how am I supposed to do this? The way people did back in the old days. Figure it out yourself. I'll be here if you are like ridiculously helplessly lost, which I you am right think now. Think you are, but you're not. Because you already found the musical stairs, so you're on the right track. What in the heck? Pull the lever, Nancy! Except you gotta pull the right lever. I think you can figure out what you're supposed to do. Honestly, dude, if you can't figure this out, you're doomed, because this is the easiest puzzle in the game. I have no clues! Seriously? Wait, was the stairway the clue? Bling, whoop, wah, blading, whoop, wah, bang, bang. That's a whoop. Okay, those last two are useless. That one's not it. That one was the first one. That was the second. Third. That was right, wasn't it? Do it again. Sometimes you pull the wrong levers when you're figuring out you gotta reset the puzzle, so like you just did there. Nope, that wasn't it. That, that oh, was you missed much. a lot. Yeah, I, my memory isn't really that good sometimes. Grab a piece of paper and write down the sounds as you climb back up. Uh, I don't really have a piece of paper, but I've got, I, I'll just uh, put it in my phone. Yeah, I was gonna say. 2019, you can use your phone, just open the notes app and start writing them down. Bling. Whoop. Wah. Wah sounds funny. Blooding. <laughs> Whoop. Wah. Bang. Bang. Okay, well, this one was this one. So... Nope, that wasn't right. Bling. Whoop. Wah. Blading. Whoop. Wah. Bang. Bang. It's the key! The key! The key of mystery. It's actually a very easy mystery, but you'll have to find out where it goes. 
Got a pretty now good see, idea. See, isn't that much more satisfying to figure it out yourself instead of me just telling you? Sure. You don't believe me. I need the key. This is the key, you idiot! No, it's not. Pay no attention to the bird behind the curtain. Pay no attention to the bird behind the curtain. Okay, that was the door. It's not the key for that either, because it was already open. You just happened to be holding the key. I've never seen someone use the portable items icon in my life. Well, now you have. No reason to go in there. That wasn't it either. Nope, that door was already open. Ah, you found the conservatory. You know who's in here, don't you? Yeah, the headmistress. All settled oh, in? Good. Drake. I'm happy that you're visiting Linda, but I know how much you teenagers like your televisions and loud stereos, so I must insist that you act respectfully and civilly while you stay with us. Since my nephew, Hugh, is away on business, I am in charge of this household. And if there's one thing I cannot stand, it's noise. Well, Mrs. Drake Hugh's is talking. daughter, I'm Jane, is staying with us and would very much like us. to meet you. But please try not okay. to distract her. She has her studies and mustn't be disturbed during her lessons. Do you know what's wrong with Linda? Oh, Linda simply needs some time to adjust to her new living situation. England is not the United States. We do things differently, or should I say properly, here. The doctor believes it's just a case of nerves. Her mother told me she refuses to let anyone see her. Is that true? I don't know, and the doctors don't know. No one seems to know anything. Amazing how you can just plug in one single device and it does wonders. Unwell, and that in her stead, <laughs> I must look after matters. Now, please, I really do not have time to entertain you. You may have the run of the house, but do not break anything and refrain from mucking about with items that aren't yours. Two rules Jane seems incapable of following. And before I forget, our kitchen is being remodeled, so our dining situation is rather unorthodox. I've made arrangements with a local restaurant to deliver meals to us. There should be a programmed number for them on the phone in your room. Feel free to order whatever you'd like. I'm concerned about that thing I saw outside. It was purely your imagination, unless you saw a, a stray dog. But I will not countenance any histronics about this issue. We have enough to worry about with Linda. And please do not get any ideas about going outside to investigate. I do not want you tracking mud all over this house. This place must have quite a history. Where can I learn more? Go see Read. Nigel in the library. He's going to write a book about our family history. Can you tell me about Lulu? Lulu is a very old parrot. She must be over 80 years old. Well, dang. Please be very careful with her, especially if you feed her. Parrots have quite delicate constitutions, you know. Goodbye. Run along. It's really not that hard to make sure you don't feed her poison. Who's hungry? Yeah. Who's ready for some nummies? Did you say something, Mrs. Drake? Not to you, dear. <laughs> Are you sure? I want some nummies. <laughs> yeah, I just ate, so I'm good. Uh, I suppose. Alright, where does this dang key go to, though? Easy, a lock. Yes, but I've only found one locked door and it wasn't it. Oh, why, well. Why do I hear sounds of typing when there's nobody at the computer? Maybe there's more than one computer! Out this way! Merci. Out this way? I have never heard that before. You'll hear a lot of different thing ways to say God bless you and thank you in this game. Mm-hmm. Do, 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 do. Remember, you can turn left and right, even when it looks like you can't. 
This must be Mrs. Drake's room. That's the room that requires the key. Guess she's not in her room. Guess she's not in her room. No, it's not. Be nice. Yeah, it would. I want to know what's in Guess she's Drake's not in her room. room. Guess she's not in her room. There's water all over the floor. That's a table. No, that's a table? I think it's a table. It sure don't look like a table. I never noticed that before. It's water that's very creepy, actually. You're gonna just ignore the bed? I'm trying to click on it, but there's nothing to click on. Linda? Hi, it's me, Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew, our friendly neighborhood detective. Well, welcome to Blackmore Manor. I apologize for greeting you under such unusual circumstances. And I'm sorry to have to bother someone in your condition. My condition? What's my mother told you? What her son-in-law keeps telling me? That it's all in my head? That I'm just an unhappy new bride? That I just need time to adjust? I'm tired all the time, my mouth is dry, my vision is blurry, but that's not important. Here's what's important, Nancy. There are some doors that should never be opened. There are some doors that hold secrets which must never be known. That's everything We're you totally need to know. totally disobey her. Indeed. Now it Mommy, can I come in? No. You're supposed to be in your lessons. Couldn't make it Let's one episode without having her, could we? Nope. I said no, Jane. Okay. That was my stepdaughter. She can be such a pest sometimes. She's so Anyway, can. I understand you feel an obligation to my mother, but trust me, there's nothing you can do. You're welcome to stay, but I strongly recommend that you go home as soon as possible. Please, Linda, just tell me what's wrong. Linda? Okay, I'll let you rest, but... I'll be back. I'm here for you if you need me. I don't think having a teenager here for you is very encouraging. We're just leaving in silence. Yeah. Okay, that is a table. Silence. That is a table. I told you it was, it was a table. extremely reflective for a table. It's very well polished. Have you ever heard of a glass table? It's not. It d Does that look like glass to you? I can't see. It looks like wood to me, especially with the grain right there. It looks like glass. It looks like glass from here. I'll look when I don't have poor connection. This. Can see enough to see. I can see enough to play the game, but I can't see enough to tell if that's wood or glass. Oh, it's good. We can see her now. Hi, I mean, horrible. This is the most. I'm ah, so pleased you're here. I'm Jane. Was. I know you've come to visit my stepmom, but I'd love it if you could pop by whenever you get the chance. Oh, we'll have such fun. Let's play a game. Sure, Jane. What would you like to play? <laughs> That's the m uh, fine, fine. We're playing a stupid, miserable game. Well, if someone would tell me a little more of what to do, maybe I wouldn't make such horrible decisions. <laughs> Oh, fine. I'll do what you want. I do not, not want right to play now. no stupid game. I'd like to ask some questions first. Sure, what do you want to know? About Mummy? I mean, Linda. I do hope you'll help. She's been a bit out of sorts lately. Do you know why she doesn't want to be seen? I think maybe it's because of the lady in black. I was playing in Mummy's room when she wasn't there, and when I looked up, there was a lady all dressed in black, putting something on Mummy's nightstand. Did you recognize the woman? I couldn't see her face because she wore a cape. <sighs> the lady put a note on Mummy's nightstand, but I didn't read it. That's when Mummy started feeling poorly. I don't want to think about that. Let's play a game. It will cheer me up. Never. No games. Okay. Bad girl. Okay. Not right now, but maybe I'll later. Never play you can come in any time you want, even if I'm not to, here. Which you will I've later. got some really smashing <laughs> things. I'm so, it's so like, happy. If we don't have to play a game. I hope you can make we're me not feel wasting better. 20 minutes playing a game. Okay. Thank you and good night. We're just leaving. All right, let's leave. 
Oh, that's a cool door. You startled me. You must be Nancy. I'm Jane's tutor, Ethel. How do you do? Jane is very excited you're visiting. You're all she's talked about for the past week. Wow, I feel so embarrassed. I didn't think I'd have a fan club all the way over here. Oh, yes. pick one. Oh, you did. I'm sorry, but I I'm can't hear, remember? I need to go over some things with Jane. Oh, I guess I'll be going then. It was a okay, that's very creepy the way she sidesteps around us. Again, yeah. Sure. Alright. If I did that to you in real life, you'd be all like, what are you doing? Stop there it. There goes my cell phone. Ah, uh, phone time. Hi, Nancy. It's Mrs. Petrov. How is everything? Have you seen Linda yet? Literally speaking, no, but I did talk to her. Not that she told me anything. I'm just about at my wit's end. I've never known her to act like this. The last doctor that examined her said that aside from a little dry skin, which is not unusual for her, she was perfectly fine. Why is she hiding behind that curtain? I have no idea. When I was out there last week, I got fed up and pulled the curtain back. She threw a fit, but otherwise she looked absolutely normal. A little pale, perhaps, but who wouldn't be pale, cooped up like that? True. Something has changed her. Something in that house. Hugh is just as bewildered and upset by her behavior as I am. Please get to the bottom of this, Nancy. You're our last hope. Where is Hugh? He was called to Rome. As a diplomat, he's always being called out of the country without warning and without any say in the matter. He'd much rather be there with Linda, although... Although what? It's just that Hugh said it hasn't been very easy for him to talk to her lately. Whenever he calls, which is at least once a day, Linda always seems to fly off the handle for no hey, reason. Hey, it's the clock. I can hear sense. that. Yeah. Linda has always been extremely level-headed and even-tempered. She never gets angry. At least she didn't used to. Who exactly is Mrs. Drake? Might be she relevant, actually, aunt. if this goes She's up by around Christmas. She's taken yep. ever since her brother died. He was Hugh's father. She's a bit of a character. In what way? The way she spends all her time in that conservatory, slouching around, trowel in hand, murmuring to herself. You'd think she was burying something. Or somebody. Goodbye, Mrs. Petroff. Goodbye, Nancy. Oh, one more thing. My niece is on call and her husband's out of town, and, and I told her I'd go over there and babysit if she had to work. So if you call yeah, and people I didn't don't have answer, cell phones back in the old Bye. days. Yep. Uh, sign of the times, am I right? Yeah. Indeed. This game was pretty revolutionary because they really pushed the idea that you can get the internet on your cell phone. What? Amazing. Oh, that is that is innovation right there. Imagine being able to surf the web on your phone. <laughs> it was quite it was amazing when I was growing up to this game, so Yeah. But now it's like I don't need your internet in built in internet browser anymore. I can use my phone to do that. Ha ha Technology Technology right. is you wanna great. Call it there or you wanna keep going? I uh, uh how long have we been going for? I feel like we're coming up on half an okay, we can just do this and look. <laughs> 2840. So, yeah. Thank y'all for watching this episode of Nancy Drew Blackmore Manor. Curse of Blackmore Manor. If you liked it, leave me a like. If you're new around here, subscribe. Go check out Anthony's channel. We'll see y'all next time.